What's up, YT? It's your boy DJY, and to be back with another episode. Today, we have a topic about legendary rapper Mace. During the interview with Gillian Wello, he stated that Puffy was surrounded with bad people and they all trying to harm his successful career. Guys, honestly to say, Mace was in top of the game in back in the days, bro. He was he was one of the king of New York, and this is true facts. That try to do bodily harm with me, they will be in the house with Puff. So I'm like, it's a funny game y'all playing behind the scenes. So when people see me, they just see me turned up. They just see me agitated. They just see me aggressive, but they don't know why. Every time something happened to me, it's somebody that's with him. Imagine how you feeling, bro. Guys, honestly, in social media, these people acting like May Saint have a long time run, bro. He was always better than many New York top rappers. And I think that this is the reason why they all try to get him up out of music. If you are too young and have no clue, I want to tell you that Mace was in top of the game and he was one of the hardest MC from New York City, man. This is truth. This is facts, period. Now, guys, I have question of the day. Please honestly tell me what you think. Why Diddy and his people was hating on Mace? Just tell me in comment section. So in social media, some fans saying that if Biggie was here, he would have said the same. If you watch the film, Biggie wanted to level up as well and they got into it. Even some fans saying that Tupac was not lying when he said they set him up at Quad Studios. Man, it's, it's too dope, man. It's very interesting. Honestly, tell me what you think about this case and now let's go to the next topic. You know guys that Mace have beef with Puff Daddy in past. Mace said that he was in terrible deal with Diddy, but also this week rapper Vivio Foreign said that Mace offered $5,000 to sign him. It means that both Diddy and Mace have some terrible deals, so during interview Vivio said the advance was $5,000 that all he gave me. $5,000 was a lot. I thought that was going last, but this didn't last two weeks. I'm still in the contract now. Mace knows the business. I didn't know nothing. He a smooth talker, said Fabio Foreign. So today rapper Mace reunited with Gilda King and Wello. Mace didn't seem bothered by the deal, and in the video he calls himself with a humor DD2 for signing Fabio with $5,000. And before I ask you question of the day, let's check this out the video. Come on. $5,000, man. Mace has been speaking about Diddy's business practices over the years. This year he dropped a single called Oracle 2 The Liberation of Mace on Beta, which was dedicated to trashing Pop Daddy and accusing him of exploiting Biggie's death. Also this year, during live performance, Mace stopped performing because of cutting off his music earlier, and Mace accused Diddy of cutting his performance. In one word, Mace and Diddy have some serious beef right now, so stay tuned, subscribe, why to have you the notification bells. And don't forget to visit the website yoti.com. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.